Today, we're going to use the DFAM as a second and third oscillator for the Mother 32. For our purposes, we can pay attention only to this corner of the DFAM. Make sure yours looks just like mine. And we have a fairly simple sound pulled up on the Mother 32 and of sequence. Before we start, make sure that the FM amount is down and hard sync is off. Also, you shouldn't have the envelope going to either oscillator. To send the keyboard information to the DFAM, we're on a patch cable from the KB out on the Mother 32 into the VCO1CV. And to get the audio back, we'll run a patch cable from the VCO1 out to the external audio in. Now if we turn the mix knob, we should be able to hear both when we press a note. We can tune it using the VCO1 frequency. Play back with our sequence. Now let's add VCO2. In order to do so, we'll need to make use of both the MOLT and the VC mix functionality of the Mother 32. Because the DFAM has separate volt per octave inputs for each oscillator, we'll use the MOLT to send the keyboard voltage of the Mother 32 to both. To do so, Unplug the cable from VCO1CV and plug it into MOLT on the Mother 32. And we'll take MOLT1, send it to VCO1CV, effectively recreating the patch we just unplugged. And MOLT2 will go to VCO2CV right below. Now in order to hear both oscillators from the DFAM, we'll take advantage of the VC mix. Move the patch cable from the external input to mix 1 to send audio from VCO1 of the DFAM to the left side of the VC mix. Similarly, we'll send VCO2 output right below it to mix 2. Then to hear them both, we'll set the VC mix out of the Mother 32 to the external audio input. Make sure the VC mix knob is in the center. When we press a note, we'll hear all three oscillators. We can tune the VCO2 of the DFAM using VCO2 frequency. If we press play, we'll hear a melody with all three of our oscillators playing. 